At the uh, media day yesterday, Paolo wasn't very impressed with your jiu-jitsu. I'm curious, do you believe you have the grappling advantage in this fight? I'll treat Paolo like a bitch if he gets to the ground. It'll be over. Paolo, I'm curious, your thoughts on, on that? Tá curioso pra saber. O que, que você acha disso? Que ele falou que vai, você vai ser a cadelinha dele. Ah, man. <laughs> Come on. This guy, this guy is, is too old to, to say this kind of bullshit. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Look. You're the one who's wearing glasses, motherfucker. Can you see shit? You've been doing cosmetics this whole thing. I was surprised you looking the fucking the same. I thought you'd be you killed the Jenner. You are too old to see this kind of bullshit, man. Hey, this motherfucker didn't want to take the fight you in the first did. place. The UFC forced it down his throat. They needed to delay it twice. Month after month, all the cosmetic bullshit you got done. You little bitch. Shut up. Polo, are you surprised that Luke is bringing this sort of energy to you today? Say again. Are you surprised that Luke is bringing this energy to you today? Energy? No. The energy... He doesn't even know what fucking energy means. The motherfucker, his girlfriend is doing every thought process for him. He doesn't know shit. The energy doesn't matter on the, on the, on the, the day of the fight, you know. He can say this bullshit, I think, don't fit on, on an old man like he is, but... Uh, the energy... Did your girlfriend tell you that? The energy uh, doesn't matter on, on the day of the fight, you know. The, we will we, be close on the same cage, me and him, just me and him. And we will see who has more energy, who has more powerful, who has more, you know, more will to win this fight. Question for Paulo Costa. Yeah. Paulo, what is in the secret juice? Everybody wants to know. The people want to know, right? Yeah, man. Uh. <laughs> ah. No. Damn, you're dumb. I, I, I will not. I will not put the shirts off like him to look like a teenager or something like young. I'm old. Uh, I'm young. What the yeah, fuck am I? Shut yeah, up. This, this hat, this, you know, this kind of you are dressing, try looking uh, better or looking. Uh, young, I don't need this. I will keep my compost through. The secret juice is just a joke, but uh, there has a lot of vitamins, just this stuff. Question for Kamar Usman, the champion. This is the third fight in a row defending the belt against a former opponent. What's the degree of difficulty stack up facing Leon Edwards against the likes of a Colby Covington and a Jorge Masvidal? They're all very difficult in their, in, their, in their sense. I mean, Leon poses a different threat than, than Masvidal, poses a different threat than Kobe, and Kobe and, and Masvidal pose a different threat than Leon. So, you know, I, I, I don't take this for granted. I know he's going to be a very, very tough fighter, and I have put the work in. I put the preparation in. So Saturday night, y'all are in for a treat, Salt Lake City. Question for the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nine fight winning streak. You've had a lot of belts canceled. Bouts cancel, that is. Listen, man, does it make it, you feel bad, bother you at all that there's a guy named Hamza Chemaev that's won three fights in the welterweight division that's likely one fight away from getting a title shot? Shut the fuck up. That doesn't make no sense. What do you say? All right, one last one. It's a fun one. Your nickname's Rocky. What Rocky character best characterizes your opponent? Clubber Lane, Apollo Creed, Thunder Lips, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, to me it's, it's normal, you know, be part of the show. I'm so happy to be here to, be, to, to see a lot different face, you know. It's such uh, amazing, vibra good vibration come from, from the audience. The last time I remember I fought with audience was 2019. So tonight, to me, it's amazing to be here and bring a great show for you guys. Man, I am on my prime time. I will fuck this old man on the Saturday. And he is visibly uncomfortable because he knows he will face a monster. And he knows already. I look for him. He's not comfortable. I will, I will make, you know, I, I believe UFC listen, give listen. a... 
good you don't deal with it. You've never dealt with this guy. Person. And I will retire his on Saturday. Let's fucking go! Hey, have you ever dealt with adversity? The one time you met adversity, you missed weight by 20 fucking pounds. <laughs> yeah, my question. What's your weight at? We all want to know. Uh, you, want to, uh, you want to see my weight? I want to know your weight. Yeah, Are you going to make weight? Are you going to make weight? Are you going to make fucking weight? 